Good morning, Purple Phonics Group. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so let's get right on with doing some phonics learning, shall we? Let's have a look at our screen. Today, you can see I've got two digraph sounds on the screen, and these are the sounds we've already learnt. Can you tell me what they are? What's this first one? We looked at this one yesterday, and this is the sound, isn't it? Did you manage to read the word that I left on screen for you yesterday? Did you manage to draw the animal that makes that noise? Of course, the word yesterday was quack. So hopefully you drew me a duck. Let's have a look at this one. What sounds this one? Shh. Did you get that one right? Hopefully you did. OK, let's look at today's sound. And today's sound is a C and an H together. So when we push the k and the p together, they make ch 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 They make the ch sound. Right, so you know what we're going to do now. We are going to have a look at how we write the ch sound. So again, we have our C and our H. Both letters sit on the line. And we have a small C, which is a curly letter, and then a tall H letter. OK, so you know what's going to happen now. Mrs Hodges is going to attempt very badly to write these letters on the screen because it's quite tricky to write them using the computer keyboard. OK, so I'm going to start on the line. You can see my pen is sat on the line and it's going to go from here. It's hopefully going to curl up and curl around into my k shape. Then with that, I'm going to start my H again on the line. I'm going to go up back down, up and over. So that's my ch sound. So my k and my p go together to make ch. Now you have your handwriting sheets at home so you can practice these letters individually and then get a blank piece of paper and practice putting them together and saying the ch, 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 ch sound so that you remember that those two letters when they're together make the ch sound. And remember they have to be this way round they can't be the other way around. They must be the C first and the H second. OK, so let's take a look at what we're doing today. So at the top of the screen, you can see we have got some words. They all have today's focus sound in them. What I'd like you to do is using the sound button, sound them out and figure out what those words say. Now, there's a tick at the top of the screen today, which means they're all real words. So have a go. Pause me. Come back to me when you're ready. Right, so let's have a look at the first word. Here's our phonic sound for today, our ch sound. Then we have a single sound, our e. And then we've got another digraph, but it's not a digraph as we know it really, because it's just the same letter twice. And it just reminds us we don't go ooh, ooh, we just go ooh, we just make one sound, don't we? So let's have a look at the word ch, i, o, ch, il, chill. Let's have a look at the next one. So we've got our digraph sound and two single sounds. Ch, at, ch, at, chat. Let's try our third. OK, so we've got digraph sound, single sound, and then another one of our sounds. Both letters make the same sound, so we know we just, we don't go k, k we go k. So let's have a look. We've got ch, e, k, ch, e, k, ch, e. And then our last one, or oh, slightly more sounds here. So ch, o, m, p, ch, o, m, p, ch, o, m, p, ch, o, m, p. So as we say it faster and we merge those sounds together, we hear the word and the word is chomp. Well done if you got those right. If any of them were tricky, have a look and see which sound you found tricky. Which one could you not get blended into the other sounds to find the word? OK, so next, you know what we're going to do? We have some spellings. So I've got four words on the screen and I'm going to say a word for you. Pause me while you write it down, sound it out and then come back to me and we'll see how you did. OK, so the first word is chop. Chop. Can you try and write that one down for me, please? OK, here we go. Shall we look at chop? So we have got our sound. Ch -op. Chop. OK, word number two is chin. Chin. Try that one.
Right, let's take a look. So we have got ch, i, n, chin. How did you do with that one? Okay, word number three, slightly more tricky, is chant. Chant. Right, let's take a look. How do we do for chant? Are you ready? So we've got ch, a, n, t. Chant. And our last word is chunk. Chunk. Okay, let's have a look at chunk. So we've got ch, a, n, k. Chunk. How did you do? So the top two words were a little bit easier, but these bottom two here were a bit tricky. So if you got those right, well done. If you didn't, which letter did you miss out? Which of the sounds didn't you hear? Think about how you can practice slowing saying the word down to hear all those sounds. Okay, so your task for today, let's have a look. Here it is, it's only a little task and it's another drawing task for you. So it says, draw a picture of, and then, oh, underlined here, I have written something. So these are all sounds that we already know. So you need to read these three words and then draw me the picture that goes with these three words. So I'm going to leave them on screen for you. Draw me the picture that goes with these three words. Okay, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.